me. It's such an honor to be here with you all today. Um, I already feel the presence of the Lord. So uh, uh, I am just going to get right into what I believe God is saying and then pray into it. Uh, so I really sense that God is speaking the importance of persevering and operating in a kingdom press in this hour, uh, that this is the time to stay focused on what he is saying, not get distracted by the cares of the world, not being drawn into battles that he is not directing, even being mindful of battles that the enemy would try to draw you into his territory on his battleground and God's grace is not there. It is so uh, important uh, to be discerning of that in this hour, not getting into a lot of the agendas that are going forth and getting on the bandwagon, but really staying focused on what God is telling you to do, uh, whether that be deliverance, healing, or releasing whatever ministry, business, organization, or vision that he has given you, and being obedient in what he is saying. I sense operating in uh, the spirit of perseverance and the kingdom press is key to experiencing his ability to endure and to stand uh, because we keep saying this is the last days and uh, we also keep trying to pray the last days away, <laughs> but the Bible is the Bible. And uh, so these things are going to happen. Tribulations and trials are going to occur, uh, but thank God that we live in this world, but we are not of it. And so even as uh, these situations will arise, as we are activating our faith and power through our discipline and focus, uh, it is really producing the authority, the grace and strength to be consistent uh, people and uh, just uh, kingdom heirs of God that would demonstrate his miracle working power and that would be the cure in our midst. And so our ability to persevere and have a kingdom press is not just about us or even the now, but it is about what is to come. Um, that word perseverance in the dictionary, uh, it is defined as steady persistence in a course of action, a purpose, a state, especially in spite of difficulties, obstacles, or discouragement. So you're being steady even as you're being challenged, okay? It means a, a continuous in a state of grace. Now, this is just a regular dictionary. <laughs> uh, in a state of grace to the end, leading to eternal salvation. We like that they put that in there. Okay. So we, we're going to give dictionary.com a plus for that. And even just some of the um, definitions of perseverance, the synonyms are diligence, determination, endurance, uh, immovability. <laughs> Uh, uh, I would write that one down. Immovability. I will not be moved. I will not uh, be moved. Persistence. Okay. Stamina. Steadfastness. Purposefulness. Okay. So it's so important to move and shift through God's spirit and not by your emotions, not by your thoughts, your flesh, the circumstances of this world or just situations and experiences that you are encountering, all right? And so in this kingdom press, when we think about pressing, even in the Greek, it actually means to flee, but we're not fleeing, you know, from, uh, we're fleeing to God. We're fleeing past what is it, what is we are experiencing uh, and, and we're just keeping in momentum with God. It means to pursue. So we're pursuing, we're focused on where we're going. We're not focused on what is occurring. And this is the word 
press in the Greek is dio, D-I-O, okay? It means to flee, to pursue, okay? It means to persecute. Oh, Lord. Uh, uh, we we just going to try to mount up in it today. All right. We're going to mount up in this word. <laughs> it means to ensue, to follow after, to give, to give into. All right. It also means suffer or to press forward or to suffer persecution. And I know we don't like uh, persecution. We don't, we, but the, in the pressing, there is that miracle working power. And so that's, that's what's going to keep us focused, that there is greater on the other side. Okay. Uh, it also means to drive away, to run swiftly in order to catch a person, place, or thing. And so we want to catch what God is doing, not what is happening right now. Okay. Uh, we want to catch what is to come. So we want to focus on that. All right. Now the pressing, as we can see, it's, it requires sweat, hard work, and even tears. And so I even sense that there are many uh, under the sign of my voice, you, you've already had a lot of sweat, hard work, and tears. And I even um, see that there is harvest even in this season, even as God is encouraging you to remain disciplined and focused and uh, to keep your press and to persevere, okay? And so the season is not just about hardship, uh, but it is also about uh, that there is a harvest that you are governing even in your press, and then there's an authority of God that is going to come out of the, of the press. It is a consistent pursuit of a goal, despite what you are dealing with. As we are pressing, we are maturing in our spiritual fruit, stamina, and being able to remain constant and focused on God and his word. Uh, we are accelerating upward so that we shift from level to level in glory to glory in the authority and power that we are attaining. And we are experiencing so many things in the world right now uh, that uh, the world does not have the answer for, okay? And even the church does not have the answers all, uh, for as well. But when we start to think about pressing into his miracles and becoming his miracle workers becoming the literal embodiment of being a cure for God, we are the answer, okay? We are the answer. And so one of the reasons why I sense the, the kingdom press is necessary for this season because God is demonstrating also uh, how, you, how you continue to shift forward with him despite the tribulations of this world because people are not just going to need the miracle they're going to need the revelation of how to endure they're going to need the revelation of how to stand they're going to need the revelation of how to look past what's going on in the world what's going on in their life what the enemy is trying to draw them into and continue to stay focused on what God has said who God is and where they are going in God and how who they are uh, is essential to what God is going to continue to do in the earth. Okay. And so as you are even um, demonstrating that we can come through all things, <laughs> that, that there is nothing too difficult for God, that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Uh, the anointing and the miracle working power that you're going to produce, it's going to be able to actually uh, transfer into others where even as they are receiving a miracle through you, they're also going to receive uh, um, an activation of the miracle anointing that is on your life that has been produced, okay, through the kingdom press that you uh, have demonstrated and that you have endured in this season and in this hour, because we need people to not just 
experience a touch from God. We need them to, to be able to sustain in the touch. Okay. We also need them to become demonstrators okay, of the true kingdom of God. And, and, and the, the true kingdom of God is not for the faint of heart. The true kingdom of God is not uh, those that faint or go into their own plan Bs when things are not going their way. The true kingdom of God does not live by their own thoughts, feelings, and flesh. The true kingdom of God lives by the design of God, the, the governess of God, the identity and clarity of God, the word, the purpose, the calling of God. And so we, we are truly uh, in a time where we need to be replicating true kingdom <laughs> authority and true kingdom living like never before. And so I really sense that many of you have already been going through some of this and you have been wondering why and uh, this is the reason why, because God is creating uh, a consistent miracle working power in you. And I even uh, hear many have been asking God, help me uh, to tap into greater works. Uh, I want to be a, be one to, to do miracles. Uh, I even see some of you where you have already um, had dreams and visions of you doing consistent miracle signs and wonders. And you have even been pursuing uh, this and you have been seeing a measure, but God is saying, you're going to come into consistent Consistency in that. And it is on the other side of this kingdom press. And so I just want to pray uh, 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 for even just a grace to come up on you to endure the kingdom press and to literally embody it as a lifestyle. So Lord, I just thank you for those uh, that are under the sound of my voice, Lord God. I thank you for this word about persevering in the kingdom press, Lord Jesus. I thank you for those who have already been pressing, Lord God, those who have already been persevering, Lord Jesus Christ, I thank you, Lord God, that nothing can pluck them out of your hands, Lord God. I just decree right now that whatever battle, uh, Lord God, that they have been drawn into that is not of you, I snatch them out of those battles right now, Lord God, and I snatch them under the government of you, Lord Jesus Christ. I shut down those war zones right now in the name of Jesus Christ uh, in every way that the enemy has tried to distract them, Lord God, and, and shift them and their focus to something that is not of you, Lord God. And I decree they are shifting today uh, under your governess and inside of this kingdom press, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I just decree that even as some of them have already experienced warfare, uh, oh Lord God, God, uh, and, and just persecution and challenges. Uh, they are healing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, I soak them in your healing power from the top of their heads to the soles uh, of their feet. Even as they are listening to me, Lord Jesus Christ, I decree that they are beginning to take deep breaths uh, right now and just receive uh, your healing, Lord God. That even as this is a time of receiving, they are posturing in that place, uh, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ and trusting your presence, uh, Lord God, to war for them in this moment, Lord God, uh, that even as they are taking on these deep breaths, I soak them uh, in your blood right now, Lord God. The blood of Jesus Christ washes you from the trauma of all spiritual warfare and, and that you have already had, all the challenges and persecution hits uh, that you have already had, all the fiery darts that you have have already endured. I decree that you are being redeemed uh, and healed today uh, by the blood uh, of Jesus Christ. Yes, uh, he was wounded for your transgressions. He was bruised uh, for your iniquities, the chastisement of his peace. Uh, yes, uh, yes, yes. Your peace was upon him and by his stripes, I decree that you are being healed uh, right now, healed in your heart. Uh, yes, yes. Healing right now. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, healed in your mind 
mind uh, healed in your soul right now. Even every place where you're like, oh, I'm already going through. What, 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 what? I have to accept a, a kingdom press. I'm already going. I decree you're healed uh, and being healed in your identity right now of knowing that greater is the Holy Ghost in you than he that is in the world. Greater, yes, is the presence of God in you than he that is in the world. That there is nothing to be compared to the glory that God will reveal in you. That these are just not words, yes, on a Bible page, but this is the living power of the Holy Ghost on the inside of you. Yes, 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 yes. So I decree that you are resting in this word. You're embodying it. The kingdom press right now. You're healing in your identity that you can do all things through Christ. Oh, that is your strength. Yes, yes, yes. That God is with you. Yes. And he will never leave or forsake you. Yes, yes, yes. You are healing in that truth right now. Yes. That nothing that you go through will take you out. So I even break fear right now. I decree fear is being broken right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I even break fear all the way back. Yes, yes, yes. To when you were a little kid until now. I decree the fear is being snuffed out of you, broken off of you right now. That every way that you have been bullied in the past and even bullied by demons and bullied by situations. Yes, yes, yes. We, uh, yes, cut the head of Goliath off right now uh, in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Uh, and even as we cut the head of Goliath, uh, we put the sword uh, in your hands. Yes. Uh, to know that who God has called, he has equipped. Yes. Uh, yes. That even as God has called you to walk uh, this terrain for such a time as this, you are equipped. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yes, you are equipped. Uh, so I just decree that you are being restored uh, in the sword of the Lord. Uh, uh, yes, the power of the Lord that lets you know that you have power over all the power of the enemy. Yes, Lord God. Uh, I ask that you would heal uh, to a deeper level, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, let let anxiety be snuffed out, uh, uh, Lord Jesus Christ. Let the words uh, that people have spoken, uh, uh, Lord God, as they have uh, even um, been been on this journey, Lord God, of the kingdom press that have been spoken to weary them, uh, to kill their identity, to kill their courage. Uh, I decree those word curses are breaking off of you. Uh, I flush uh, uh, the very imprint of them out, uh, uh, yes, of your identity, off your soul, off your mind, uh, out of your memory recall. I break the powers, uh, triggers of them uh, that shift you back to insecurity, that shift you back to inconsistency, that shift you back to wondering if you could do what God is telling you to do. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. I decree the truth of the Holy Spirit uh, is breathing life into you today. Yes, uh, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you will. Uh, yes, uh, you will. Yes, uh, you will. Yes, as these words are being flushed out that are not of God, wash them, uh, oh Lord God, from their eye gates. Wash them uh, from their ear gates right now, Lord God. We silence, uh, uh, Lord God, uh, 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 those, uh, the, the accuser of the brother. We silence, uh, uh, Lord God, those uh, that are speaking words contrary to you, Lord God. Uh, we shove the Bible in the devil's mouth and we say, shut up uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, choke on the word uh, uh, of God. Yes, choke on uh, the word of God. Yes, uh, that God's thoughts towards us are good uh, and not of evil to bring about uh, and expect it in. Yes, uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I decree your ear gates is healing right now. That your ear gates are literally being closed off to the frequencies and airways of negativity uh, in and around your sphere of influence right now. Yes, that demons uh, that have harassed you in your thoughts. Uh, uh, yes, uh, yes, yes. Uh, as they are choking on the Bible, they are being silenced right now. Uh, I call 
up with the angels to come uh, and to uh, uh, escort them, uh, uh, yes, yes, through the wrath of God into the dry places, uh, never to return again. Yes, chase them off uh, by the flames uh, uh, of the wrath of uh, Jesus Christ. Yes, uh, yes, and I just decree that your ear gates are shutting down uh, to every demonic portal uh, and they're opening up to the revelation of God. Uh, they're opening up to the sonship of God. Uh, they're opening up to the heart of God for you, the love of God for you, that even as he would uh, call you to endure, to persevere and to walk in this kingdom press, uh, uh, yes, uh, yes, yes, he will definitely give you hundredfold uh, for your trouble. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Yes, yes, yes. That no matter what it look like, victory uh, oh, is already your portion. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I decree that right now. I decree that your eye gates are being washed, uh, washed of just everything that you have seen that has brought you uh, to a place of discouragement, depression, and downtroddenness. Uh, I decree uh, uh, that you are lifting up your eyes unto the hills to which cometh your help, uh, your help cometh from the Lord. So even all uh, just um, trauma from COVID, uh, trauma from the pandemic, grief and loss uh, from the pandemic, uh, trauma shock and awe from the shift uh, into what we thought was normalcy into the pandemic. I decree your healing from that right now. Every financial hit you experience, you're healing. Uh, every hit of death, you're healing uh, right now. Yes, thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, uh, flush out all discouragement in the throat. Uh, yes, Holy Ghost. Just take some deep breaths while I am praying. Uh, yes, yes. Blow that out. Uh, uh, yes, flush out uh, Holy Spirit. Yes, uh, pain. Spirits of pain. Spirits of fear and anxiety. We break the powers of media mongering. Me, uh, fear coming from the media. Fear coming from things that we're looking at uh, and partaking of on social e media. I break its power. I break the hook and noose of it uh, in every way that it, it has you downtrodden instead of uh, 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 standing uh, firm in God and where your eyes are gazed on him. I shift you up today where you are setting your affections. Holy Ghost, uh, snatch every person up under the sound of my voice like Ezekiel. Yes, Holy Spirit, snatch them up from every grave. We shut the, uh, uh, the, the ground up right now. We shut the graves up right now. Yes, we will live and not die uh, to declare the works of the Lord. We shut up right now. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Every curse and opening uh, of death and hell right now. Yes, uh, we shift up out of Shoel uh, and out of depression and heaviness. We break the blankets uh, and clouds of heaviness right now. Yes, come off of God's people. Every time release curse of you, we judge you by fire and we burn you out uh, uh, of their days. We burn you out of the fall season and the winter season where you will come for their uh, consistency, where you will come for their focus. Uh, uh, yes, yes, we burn these time release curses of depression, heaviness, loathing. Uh, yes, we burn you out of September, October, November, December. Yes, January, February. Burn uh, eternally in the name of Jesus Christ. Burn uh, in every way that you're coming from the generational line, from the third and fourth generational uh, uh, lineage. Uh, burn by fire. Yes, thank you, Holy Ghost. We burn every time release curse, uh, yes, around tragedies uh, that have happened in the past. Yes, we shut the doors uh, to the tra tragedies of the past. We decree old things uh, are passed away and all things are becoming new. Uh, all 365 days of the year, uh, uh, yes, of our lives belong to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So I break these curses right now. I break these time release curses right Right now, I break depression and heaviness uh, that comes in the fall and the winter. Right now, break uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. I release the joy of the Lord that is their strength, Lord God. I release your governance, uh, uh, Lord Jesus Christ, over every second, every millisecond of their lives, uh, every day, all 365 days of their lives. Yes, thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, every way that their destiny 
pathway has been altered, uh, Lord God, by these time release curses, uh, I realign uh, their destiny in you, Lord God, and I decree that curses are broken through your blood and your works on the cross, who the Son sets free is free. Indeed, so I decree these curses are broken right now. And even as they're being snatched up uh, like Ezekiel into the spirit, uh, into, uh, yes, 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 uh, a new fan- mantle of joy, uh, a new mantle of perseverance and kingdom press uh, that they are healing. Yes, God. Uh, and I decree you're restoring their joy right now. Uh, yes, God. Yes, God. Uh, I break all mind binding and mind blinding spirits right now. Come out of the eye gates. From, come from around the heart. Uh, come from around the head right now. I cut your tentacles off right now with the sword of the word. And I snatch your crown uh, off their heads right now. Yes, thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, I close up every third eye right now that has them seeing uh, from an earthly vision. Has them seeing uh, through witchcraft portals. Uh, has them being demonically attacked in their vision or in their sleep realm and their dreams. Dream round. I decree those things are being closed up, shut up uh, right now uh, in their penile gland, in their pituitary gland, in their consciousness, their amygdala. Yes, in every lobe, every frontal lobe, occipital lobe, temporal lobe, parietal lobe uh, of their brains. Yes, thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, thank you, Holy Ghost. And I decree healing uh, to their eye gates. Yes, uh, as I apply the helmet uh, of salvation upon them. Yes, thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, and I decree their healing in their brains, uh, literally healing in their minds, uh, taking on the mind of Christ. Uh, yes, as they're shifting up and setting their affections on things above. Uh, yes, 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 God. Uh, yes, Lord Jesus. Let them literally see themselves in the spirit uh, inside of you, inside of Christ Jesus, seated in heavenly places above principalities and powers. Uh, yes, Holy goes and and looking down on their generations, uh, looking down on their situations, God, uh, looking down uh, on the earth and knowing that they have dominion, uh, oh Lord Jesus, over every living thing uh, that creepeth upon the earth, Lord God, and they have the ability to govern because that's who you have called them to be. Uh, uh, Yes, Lord God, uh, and that they will begin to speak those things that are not uh, as though they were Lord God. So I even decree healing to their voice. Uh, we repent for anything that we have spoken in this season that is contrary to your truth and your word, uh, that is contrary to your miracles, Lord God. Uh, as we are setting our affections on things above, we heal in our prophetic voices, uh, in our apostolic voices, uh, in our pastoral voices, uh, in our evangelistic voices. Yes, we heal. Uh, we heal God. Uh, we heal heal in our voice of a teacher. We heal God. We heal as your instructors. We heal as your mentors. We heal as your intercessors, God. We heal as your business owners. We heal as your entrepreneurs. Yes, God. We heal the voice of you heal in us, God. We heal right now. Yes, we heal as being the answer and the cure. We heal as being the answer and the cure. We heal as being the answer and the cure, Lord God. I I decree they're filling up with your miracle working power even now, Lord God, as they are healing uh, in their uh, prophetic utterance, in their declaration, God. Uh, uh, Yes, in their proclamation as ministers of the gospel, we heal right now in the name uh, of Jesus Christ. We become well in the truth. Uh, uh, Yes, yes, yes. uh, Yes, yes, yes. uh, uh, Yes, yes, yes. That God uh, 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 yes, is the governor of the world. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, that it does not matter what is happening in the world. God has the last say. He is the author and the finisher of our faith and of the things that concern us. Uh, yes, the sphere of influence uh, that he has given us. I decree, Lord God, that even as they are healing, the winds of the Holy Ghost, just take a deep breath and begin to receive the wind. The winds of the Holy Ghost are blowing in and around them. It is blowing. Holy
Holy Spirit, blow in fresh wind, uh, fresh glory, uh, fresh encouragement. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Holy Spirit, blow healing and deliverance. Uh, let anything that is continuing to linger that uh, should already have left uh, uh, receive fire of the Holy Ghost and be chased up out of every person right now. Uh, yes, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I decree Jesus Christ is Lord of them, uh, not insecurity. Insecurity, leave uh, right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Just begin to take a deep breath. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, fear, leave uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, just continue to take deep breaths and receive a uh, grief and loss. Leave uh, right now in the name uh, of Jesus Christ. Fear that has come in through the pandemic and COVID. Leave uh, fear of what's to come. Leave uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. I bind uh, and cast you out by the power and authority of Jesus Christ. We execute uh, his judgment that is written. Ah, uh, uh, yes, 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 that we have power over all the power of the enemy. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, yes. So leave uh, right now. We bind you and we cast you out. Yes. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. And we heal in the truth of our identity. We heal in the truth of who we are. If there is anything in us, God, uh, uh, that is an altered identity, I just ask for the Holy Spirit. Uh, uh, yes, yes. To begin to soak every person. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. Soak every person. Uh, soak their personalities. Uh, soak their souls, their hearts, their minds with your glory. Partner with the blood that is already soaking them uh, and redeeming them. Yes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, yes, Holy Spirit. Let your glory be so strong and weighty. Uh, uh, yes, that nothing can stay. That every altered identity, all every altered personality uh, is being pushed out of their lives right now. Uh, every spirit behind every altered personality and identity is being bound and cast out right now. Yes. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, yes, uh, uh, every spirit of religion be bound uh, and cast out. Uh, uh, all doubt and faith, uh, and spirits of doubt and faith, be a uh, 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 lack of faith, be bound uh, and cast out right now. Yes, thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, Yes, thank you. All stress. Uh, uh, yes, even pent up stress in the body. Holy Spirit. Uh, oh, yes. Let your glory infuse them as they're taking deep breaths. Uh, let them take in new glory. Uh, uh, yes, yes. And blow out the old glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, let them take in new glory. Uh, you said he who, uh, uh, yes, 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 uh, refreshes will be refreshed. Oh, uh, Holy Spirit, refresh your people, right? Right now in new glory. Yes. Uh, as your glory is literally pushing out every personality that is not like you uh, and restoring every person under the sound of my voice in uh, true God identity, who you need them to be in this time of perseverance and kingdom press, uh, who you have called them to be. Uh, oh Lord God, for such a time as this, uh, as you are making them the cure and the miracle worker. Yes, God. Uh, yes, Lord Jesus Christ, more of your healing, healing their hearts uh, from every fiery dart, every dagger, uh, healing, healing any bleeding hearts, all bleeding hearts. We command, uh, uh, soak your heart in the blood of Jesus Christ. Uh, and I decree is drying up the trauma of a bleeding heart. Yes, uh, yes. And every heart uh, uh, that is not like God is receiving uh, uh, his heart right now. Heal now. Yes, heal uh, Heal in the name of Jesus Christ. Heal, uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, yes, from who you are, for who, uh, in who you are as God's uh, chosen. Heal, uh, uh, yes, 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 uh, yes, in the presence of God. Yes, thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, more of your healing from the top of their heads to the soles uh, of their feet. More of your infusion of your miracle working power as you do a miracle in them today and as you embody them. Uh, with your miracle working power, I decree they will lay hands 
on the sick. Uh, yes, and they will recover. Yes, God, uh, I decree that every place the soles uh, uh, of their feet, their miracle working feet tread. Uh, uh, yes, it's taking up for your kingdom, God, as you are making them a literal weapon, uh, uh, Lord God, uh, in this hour for such a time as this, more of your healing, God. Uh, let any ailments to the feet and the hands heal right now. Uh, any ailments to their organs, Lord God, as it relates uh, uh, to persecution and sickness and disease, uh, we call forth miracles uh, right now. Yes, God. Uh, yes, Lord Jesus Christ. We I heal their minds, uh, uh, Lord God. Yes, and their memories healing right now as they're, they're, they're receiving uh, refreshing from your glory. Yes, thank you for your glory. Thank you for the healing power of your glory. Yes, thank you, Holy Ghost. Uh, yes, more of your healing, 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 God. Your word says that your yoke is easy and your burden is light. So let every yoke come from around the neck. Uh, every yoke come from around the shoulders. Uh, yes, God, any hitchhiking and lurking spirits and situations that are uh, hanging on their shoulders, uh, Lord God, uh, in and around their ankles like baggage. Uh, yes, we set fire to them right now, God. Yes, as we are listening to you in this season, and we're only doing what you are doing and what you are telling us to do, God. So we lay down every burden, every situation, every experience, and we heal in you. Yes, God. And we come into the embodiment of your spirit, the supernatural spirit of perseverance and kingdom press for such a time as this. Thank you for your miracles that will continue to follow every person, Lord Jesus Christ, that will partake of this prayer, miracle signs and wonders. Yes, consistent miracles, signs, and wonders being your portion, manifesting in every area of your life, your ministries, your businesses, your organizations, everything that God grants your hands to do. And I just decree you're being infused with the confidence, uh, yes, to lean not to your own understanding, uh, yes, but to speak uh, miracles and, and to command miracles to come forth, uh, yes, and to be a conduit for miracles, a conduit of being his cure in the earth. Thank you, God. I just seal this prayer thanking you, Lord Jesus, that it is eternally so. It is eternally so. Thank you for your eternal fruit that will follow, yes, your kingdom, um, your kingdom, Lord God, through those that are pressing for you for such a time as this. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.